What is up guys, my name is AnimeHia here and welcome back to a new video. This is what if Naruto was the head of the Uchiha clan. In this video I would like to let you guys know this is a remastered version. This is chapter 1 of what if Naruto was the head of the Uchiha clan. In this video Naruto will be the grandson of Uchiha Madara. But his father will be Gara Uchiha, one of the most powerful Uchiha in the head of the Uchiha compound and clan itself. Mother U grandson of the mother Uchiha, or you know, the son of him, whatever you want to call him, Gara Uchiha had the potential of becoming the next Madara. But at the same time, Gara didn't want to foul that hatred. You know how Uchiha's do with their Sharingans. Once they unlock the beast or the Dojitsu, they become more arrogant. Gara Uchiha is not arrogant but strong. He show compassion to his loved ones. He show that he loved them very much and they're very close to him. He show not hatred but love. But at the same time deep inside of him, he will be just like his own father. If he don't control the hatred inside of him, he will ruin the day of the Uchiha's. So, this is what happens to the story of Naruto Uchiha, the son of Gara Uchiha. Let's begin and let's show you what happens to Naruto Uchiha, or our main protagonist, or MC, our main MC. Let's enjoy the video. Oh, before I enjoy the video, sorry. Um, just a quick reminder. I'm letting you guys know this very, very much. I thank you guys, and I'm very grateful. I never told you guys what I'm grateful for for Thanksgiving. So this is what my my Thanksgiving grateful thing is. I'm very grateful that I got these many subscribers. I'm very grateful that my fans love what I post. Thank you very much for even subscribing to my channel. You know, subscribing to my channel is free. You can unsubscribe whenever you want to, whenever you like. If my videos is not good for you guys, and if you do not like it, you can unsubscribe. But you can come back and re or re um listen to my videos anytime you want to without subscribing to my channel. Before I begin this, what if I would love to let you guys know? Thank you for subscribing to my videos. Thank you for liking, even even watching, even listening to my videos. I appreciate that so much. So, and another thing is, in the beginning, I will be starting uh, making great content for you guys, as well as making editing videos, putting a little bit of Naruto Shippuden or Naruto Stone for fighting anybody in there. I will be putting that stuff in there as well, while making a um, you know, while making the beginning of like a song or something with action fighting or anything like that. Now I'm just letting you guys know this. I will be starting editing my videos, putting more like in anima animation into it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. But I am at a beginning's rate. That means I'm working on making sure my editing skills are on top. So I'll be using different type of videos that I do not need. Like the one I just made before, I will use that video and try to, you know, edit it out. If it's cool, then I will, you know, keep going with the edits, making sure I can grab more um, animations, put it on my edits, and make that a full content video for you guys. So, like I said, I hope you enjoy my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and I'm very thankful for you guys, and happy belated Thanksgiving. Love you guys so much. I'm going to be keep constantly trying, keep constantly placing, posting more content for you guys. I do have work, IRL things to do other than YouTube, which I'm very sorry for, but it's just IRL stuff, is work in school I have to focus on, and everything else that is important to me. So you guys, thank you for being patient for any videos I come out with. Thank you for liking and watching, even my watching my videos, and I appreciate that so much. With that being said, I'm taking the rest of your time off, and you want to listen to what I have to say about this channel and about what, how the beginning started. 
with that being said like share and subscribe all of that entire stuff that I say so enjoy the video Naruto Uchiha the son of Gara Uchiha he was only five years old training with his own father Naruto had one little brother but his brother passed away at a young young age when his mother was giving birth his mother died as well trying to give birth to the young boy but his mother was known as Mima Uchiha Mima Uch Mina Uchiha she was one powerful Uchiha lady in Kornoichi she hold the Mangekyo Sharingan as well as their three tomos she was one powerful Kornoichi in the village of Konoha Hai no Kuni. Well, Naruto was training with his father, he smiled. This is the first time Naruto ever shown emotions. But Naruto showed his father a great emotion with a smile. His father smiled back, loving what Naruto does. So Naruto walked up to his father, asked him, Father, what would I do? What can I do? Since I am your heir to the clan. Naruto smiled. Well, get stronger. Please protect Konohakika. I love you in like I love my child. Even my child that didn't be born, I love them very much. My wife, you in the clan will be loved. Yes, I am the son of Madara. That doesn't mean I'm like my father. Yes, you're the grandson of him. That doesn't mean you're like him. Yes, you got black hair, almost similar to my own father's, but you're different, my son. You're different. He's different. Our hatred burns through us. Unlocking your Sharingan makes hatred, but using and controlling the hatred into strength makes a past. Something that you will remember. Something that I will teach you. Now, son, how to unlock your Sharingans? Right? One, first is distress. Lose a comrade that will unlock it. Fight for it that will unlock it. Eternal death or almost almost dying that will unlock your Sharingan. But I never seen no one unlock their Sharingan by just fully focused on training my son. That's why I'm here. I will train you to the brim. But first, I need to know your elements. I don't care if it's wind or lightning. I don't care if it's just lightning or fire. Your elements are powerful. If you just control it the right way, I promise you will be even twice as stronger than I in my prime. Naruto smiled and loved his father deeply. He would do anything for his father. If he had to abandon the clan, he would do it for hatred. But Naruto bowed. Yes, father. Teach me. I want to be stronger. I want to be just like you one day. Not like you, but I want to be the powerful shinobi you have become when in the wars that you fought. I want to be like you. I want to unlock my Sharingan at a young age. Teach me, father. I will not bear this hatred that the Uchiha's come past. When I unlock my Sharingan, I will turn this hatred into peace. I will make the Uchiha clan bow. Naruto smiled. This when Gara Uchiha showed Naruto truly smile. His face was blank at first, but he smiled. I have no doubt that you would do this, my dear child. Now, Naruto looked at his father. His father handed out a piece of paper. For a four cut paper here. Channel a little bit of your chakra into that. And it will tell you what elements you have. All five elements are fire, wind, lightning, water, and earth. Those are all five elements. If you have all five, I will be surprised, my dear child. Naruto did it. Naruto had lightning, wind, in water my son you have three elements but no longer a fire element hmm you can still be taught fire style 
but it will not be on a stronger scale than your other elements, my dear child. Gara rubbed Naruto's head and smiled. You're one powerful shinobi, you know? Said, Nar said Gara, smiling. Time skip. A few years later, Gara teaches Naruto every single day, training him in his ninjutsu styles. Taijutsu, Kenjutsu, and even Fuinjutsu. Gara learned this Fuinjutsu from the, th from the third Hokage. Now, Naruto Kun, you are one strong shinobi. I will have to put you in an academy. Would you join? Naruto looked at his father and nodded. I will do as you wish, because this is a pride of a Uchiha. Naruto's eyes turned red with three blacks, three black dots around it. Naruto shone his fully majestic Sharingan. You're only f six years old, my son. And you're this strong. What a shocking this must be. Come on, I will have to take you to school. Father, you don't know. You're my child. I will not leave you walking. <laughs> Naruto smiled. A mount. Both father and son walked out of the compound and walked to the academy. Naruto sat there waving his father goodbye and bumped into a man or one of a boy who is known as Minato Namikaze, one of the geniuses in the academy. Minato was older than Naruto by two years. Minato was seven, no, he was eight, Why Naruto was just six years old. Hey, I'm sorry for bumping into you, said Minato. It's fine. I'm Naruto Uchiha. And you? Minato Namikaze. Hmm. You're a smart one, ain't you? Said Naruto. His eyes show blank. He don't show no emotions on his face. Same with you, Uchiha-san. <laughs> no need to call me that. No formalities. Just Naruto. It's okay. Just Naruto. Said Naruto. Minato smiled. Well, just Minato. Then, we're friends, said Naruto, blankly staring. They both, wa they both walked in. Time skip. We're jumping this time. At this time, Naruto was at the age of 14, while his father was a younger or more older gentleman. His father was now in his 50s. Older and wiser. His father trained Naruto in etiquette, which meaning how to monitor their compound, what happens and what rules you shall not break in the Uchiha compound, how to create these rules, how to destroy these rules, how to obey these rules, and etc. He taught him everything, the etiquette of being the clan head. Naruto smiled, waiting for his father. His father left the village of Konoha, going on another and last mission before taking his break. But it was saddened that his father never returned. Naruto waited and waited all night and day, and his father never returned. He waited, he was still waiting, until a knock was heard. He rushed to the door. Father? Naruto burst. But it wasn't. It was Ayambu. Hokage-sama wishes to talk to you, said the Ayambu. Ayambu-san. What's going on, said Naruto. The Ayambu didn't speak another word, but told Naruto to meet him at the manor, the Hokage's office. A few hours later, Naruto knocks on the door. Enter, said the Hokage. Naruto opens the door and entered. He seen his friend Minato, Sinkushina, one of his long lost friends as well, that he met and adored to protect, like a friend needs a friend. Hokage-sama, how may I help you? I'm sorry, Naruto, said the third. Why you have to be sorry? What's going on, said Naruto. Your father. On the mission he went to, it was an A-ranked mission. 
he had to defeat a man who was known as a lightning user. I don't really know his name, but they call him Ryu, who is from the Cloud Village. He had to go fight him or find him to either kill him or bring him back to Kuri, Kiri, no Han, Hai no Kuni. And what happened? He died. Naruto looked saddened, but fire was in his eyes. It was burning so bright, even fire release can even stop the flames of youth. But at the time, Naruto still was saddened. His emotion changed. His face came from anger, sad, to depression. Naruto looked up. With tears in his eyes, he shouted, How can you let him go? Naruto, it's not the- Shed it. Namakaze. Said Naruto with his eyes activated, the three Tomo glaring at Minato to say something else. Minato wasn't afraid because he was the student of Jiraiya, but he wasn't afraid. He was not scared. He stepped up. Calm down. Naruto didn't calm down. He looked directly at the third. Why? Said Naruto, tears in his eyes running. His eyes were spinning and dangerous. The Ambus glared, waiting for him to attack so they can kill the boy. Naruto looked at them. He can sense them. He's not a train he wasn't a trained sensor, but he can sense chakra. Only a little bit though. Why? said Naruto, demanding the answer. He wanted to go. I promise he did. I tried to stop him. I promise I did. He wanted to go to fight this man since he was so called the God of Lightning. But Mother, and he was a son of Mother Uchiha. When his eyes, said Naruto, said the third, his eyes morphed into his Mangekyo, was waiting. Why did he want to fight the men? said Naruto angrily. Tears were still running out of his eyes, but Naruto was pissed. Because that man took something he wanted and he loved dearly, said the third. Sadly, what did he took to even kill my father? His sister. Naruto looked down. His father never talked about his sister. His father never told him he had a sister. He, he, he had a, a, a sister, said Naruto stuttering. Yes, that man who was known as Ryu, one of the lightning users from Kiri, killed his sister years ago. And he wanted revenge. He was tasted for blood. But... That's why. But he left you with something, Naruto Kun. Please, look at me. Naruto stared up with a Sharingan deactivated and was crying. He loved you. He sent a message out that if he died, the will of the cat who will become the head of the Uchiha clan will be you. But no, Naruto. It was his orders. So I cannot refuse. He was one powerful shinobi and almost a Jonin captain or Jonin commander. So please, Naruto Kun, take this position as the head of the Uchiha clan and be just like your father, strong and endured, powerful but happy. Be like his sister who smiled every day and was beautiful like the light. Be like yourself, the emotionless but terrifying beast you are. Your strength combined like your father and mother, even your auntie and your grandfather make you a deadly opponent. I'm sorry, Naruto, that your father has passed, but it will be a funeral from the Uchiha compound and I will come 
say my grace to the death of Uchiha Agara. Naruto looked down, tears falling out of his eyes, but he looked to his friends, Minato and Kushina, and bowed. I'm very sorry, dear friends. But Naruto vanished. He was now on the top of the roof crying, his eyes out, tears falling down his face, and he yelled, Why, Kami? Why? I wanted someone to love. He was my only family. I had a brother, but he died. I had a mother, but she passed away. I had a sister. I had a auntie, but she died by a lightning user. Why you have to take everything from me? Why I have to feel this much hatred and sadness? Why? A man appeared behind Naruto. It was a white-haired man. With toad eyes and was in sage mode. Hello there, kid. Kitsune. Well, kid. Naruto looked back. It was Jiraiya, the legendary, one of the legendary Sanins. But Naruto didn't even care, and he cried. I loved him so much. No. But Naruto kept there. His deep and deep in his heart, he felt the hatred rising. His gritted teeth argued to stop this bitching and get up and kill that man. Not to stand up with hatred in his eyes, showering on activated and spinning dangerously. He looked back at Jiraiya. I'm gonna kill that man, said Naruto rushing out, going towards the north gate of Konoha. But Jiraiya was faster, more trained, more skilled and he vanished. Jiraiya appeared at the north gate, waiting for Naruto to return, and he'd seen Naruto rushing towards the gate, wanted to leave, to find the man who killed his father, to get revenged. But Naruto got stopped by Jiraiya. Stop it, kid. You will not win that fight. Please, you have to stop. Control that hatred that is deep inside of you. Don't forget what your father taught you. But Naruto remembered. Use the hatred to become stronger. Use that hatred for strength. And that strength to protect the love you gain. The strength to have a new life, my child. Please do not forget what I taught you. Even though I love you deeply. Don't forget your mother's words either. You heard them before, right, my son? She said, when the sky turns blue, that's when you find your love. When it darkens, that's when the blood sheds. But when your eyes turn white and black, that's when your eyes activate. But one thing to know, love who you trust and trust who you love. That's my Nindo way, said Naruto's mother. Naruto sat there, standing there, looking at the sky. He breathed in and then out. His hair fluttered through the wind. He looked up. I'm sorry, Lord Jiraiya. I have to return to the Uchiha compound and explain this to the elders of the village of the elders of the Uchiha clan. Thank you. Naruto bowed and vanished. Two hours later in the Uchiha compound, he was in a meeting. Who will be the head of the Uchiha clan since now Gara Uchiha has faintly passed? I will. A fistly brat cannot take the head of the Uchiha clan. First and foremost, Naruto spoke. I am the head of the Uchiha clan. Take it or leave it. My father gave me the success. If he passed or gave the hat to me, I am the head now. And you elders disrespected my father's wishes. Now, listen. We will change this Uchiha compound. The clan itself will not bear this hatred no more. If you want to bear hatred, then leave. Stick with me, and I will show you how much hatred 
that can build your strength. I am the Uchiha, Naruto, the grandson of Madara, the son of Gara, and I will show this Uchiha clan, no, I will show the world that I, one of the greatest Uchiha's that will live in the life of the Shinobi realm, I will show them that the Uchiha's is not weak, that their Sharingan will not just be a tool. The Sharingan is a tool, but it's a weapon. Use the weapon. Don't use it. Use that weapon wisely. Say, if you use the weapon, the kunai, would it be damaged if you use it over? Yes. But you use our eyes, it will be damaged as well. I will show you the ropes of my father. Now, who's with me? Every elder was talking bad about Gara, but wanted to hear what Naruto said. And Naruto spoke the truth. They bowed. You are now the head of the Uchiha clan. Years later, Naruto was now a Chunin to Jonin level. Naruto was the head of the Uchiha clan, age 17. Naruto finally meets his friend once again while controlling the Uchiha clan and controlling the riot. Naruto still missed his father, no much, but he is the head and he needs to act professionally. Naruto walked out the compound and walked away. He bumped into Minato once again. <laughs> you need a hand, said Minato. Naruto looked up at Minato, who fell on the floor. Fine. Let me grab it, said Naruto, chuckling, pulling Minato to the ground as well. Naruto laughed. You're one good friend, Minato. You never leave me, never abandon me. Like, thank you. I appreciate you and Kushida so much. I appreciate you for the honesty, for the training you gave me. You're strong, but not strong enough, said Minato. One day, I will be Hokage, said Minato. Naruto chuckled. I have no doubt you will, my great friend. But be aware, being Hokage will take a lot out of you. With the chakra you have now, it will shake you. Even the words in, as well as that paperwork, will break you, said Naruto chuckling. I will be by your side no matter what, said Naruto. Even that's to death, said Naruto. If I have to face death to be by your side, I will. That is what friends are for, Minato. He smiled. Time skip. A few years later, Naruto was in his twenties and was married to Mikoto Uchiha, one of the beautiful women in his life. Mikoto was now pregnant with a boy, a baby boy, known as Itachi Uchiha, while Kushino was also pregnant with a boy known as Mima Namikaze. At the end of it, both Mikoto Uchiha gave birth before as well as Kushina, and they baby boys met soon enough. A few years later, the boys was now four years old, while Kushina was pregnant once more, and Mikoto was pregnant as well, giving birth to Sara Uchiha, known as aka Sasuke Uchiha, but Sara is now a girl in this. While Kushina was going to get pregnant to Naru, or her, his name will be, or her name will be Mito Namikaze, a girl. You see how where I'm going with this, but yes, let's get back into the storyline. After that, Kushina was giving birth. Nine months has passed, and Kushina gave birth to a baby girl, while Mikoto already gave birth before Kushina. That means the girl was older than Naruto by, or older than Mi Mito no Mikaze by a day or two days later. At that point in time, Naruto was by Minato's side, waiting and staring, protecting his fourth Okage. No matter what, he'll be by the Hokage's side. 
At the point in time Kushina was giving birth, Naruto looked away, being respectful to the lady. But no one knew that a masked man has already ki ki killed the few Ambus that was outside of the f outside of the cave. The man went in, who was twice as strong, but not that strong. Wakushina was now holding her baby girl, Mito and Mikase. Welcome to San, said Ukushina. But something happened. Her baby snapped out of her hands, and a man was holding her. Give me the Jinjuriki, or die. Or your precious little girl dies, Fourth Hokage, said the masked man. And Naruto noticed his chakra reserves. Who are you, said Naruto. His eyes activated. You are not. I know you, said Naruto. The chakra. Are you my my grandfather? <laughs> we finally meet Uchiha Naruto. My grandson. Do you want to join me? We can become a powerful shinobi. Grandson and f grandfather. Said the masked man. So you want to come back to my village? Define the fourth Hokage. You want to ruin it once more? Naruto snapped his head towards him. Well, your eyes doesn't deceive the hatred in them. But mine does. Naruto flashed away in a flash step, kicking the masked man, but exhorted right through him. Naruto, my girl, said Minato. Naruto noticed the baby thrown in the air while the masked men vanished in a warp of speed, taking Kushina as well. Minato flashed, grabbing the girl, but he seen a tag on it, an explosion tag. Naruto, find a way and alert the ninjas. Hokage-sam, hi. Naruto vanished in a burst of speed. Like he was like a yellow flash, using as much chakra as he could, but it was too late. A poof was heard. While Minato was now fighting the mass shinobi, the Ninetales was awakened, roaring through the village of Konoha, destroying everything it touches with a flame. Biju bomb, a biju bomb. Twice as bigger that can even rival and kill millions of innocent lives in the village. Minato had to do something. He flashed away, absorbing the biju bomb, sending it somewhere else directly behind him. When Minato was back to get absorbed by the masked man, he flashed. Again, the masked man and Minato fight once more. Naruto screamed at the Uchiha's that's in his village. Listen up, Uchiha's. Your eyes try to control the beast. It will probably do something with it. Please give me time. This will take a lot of chakra out of me. Summoning Jitsu. Naruto summoned a dragon. His name was Tan. Potan. Master Potan, Naruto says. Why did you summon me, boy? I'm sorry, master, but please help me defend Konoha. Just this once, master Potan, said Naruto. Fine, but you owe me a drink, said the dragon. Naruto chuckled. As you wish, master. Naruto vanished. He was channeling more chakra in his eyes, unlocking his mangekyo. His eyes spin with three shuriken in it, with one in the middle, showing his shuriken. It was like three shuriken around it spinning, like he was dizzy. 
it kept rotating until it stopped. Three point shurikens and one in the middle of it with a smaller version of the shuriken. It shown him his Mangekyo Sharingan. Naruto vanished once more. Hurry, boy. Sorry, master. I have to do something. Naruto looked at the Naito's eyes. Release, said Naruto. But he had to pull more chakra in his eyes. Release! It didn't work. His eyes was bleeding. And he closed one of them. I said, release, damn it. Naruto roared. And the Sharingan in the car and the Naito Beast's eyes disappeared. And it shone. Naruto's Mangekyo. I'm not called the grandson of Mother for no reason. Naruto was huffing and puffing. His chakra control was unbelievable strong. But his chakra was not. Master, I'm very sorry. But that drink have to wait. Fine. Summon me when you got it. Yes, Master. But Naruto was falling to the ground. He couldn't do anything. His chakra was almost out, but he was still holding control of the Naruto's, even though he was going to pass out. Naruto screamed, Please keep Makoto safe. One of the Uchiha's heard this and vanished. They rushed towards the Uchiha compound, sending everyone to the bunker of the Uchiha's, or with the villagers, seeing them. Even Uchiha villagers that is not really former shinobis, they sent them to the bunkers where other villagers are headed. They was all there. Makoto-san, please, you will be safe here with your baby boy in Itachi. Yes, fine. Please keep my husband safe, said Makoto. Time skip. A few hours later, Minato flashed away with the Ninetale Beast. While Naruto was still unconscious, holding the beast in bay, but his chakra was definitely faster and faster. His Sharingan was still active. How strong can you be? The third Hokage said, looking at Naruto. But Naruto didn't reply. He was unconscious, but still absorbing the Sharingan, still using it. Naruto's Sharingan was more powerful than anything, but bleeding was coming out of his eyes. Your eyes, said the third. Uchiha, do you know anything of why this is? Yes, Hokage-sama. Naruto's eyes, or our commander, or our head of the Uchiha's eyes, is bleeding for one reason. When unlocking the Mangekyo Sharingan and using the ability way too much, he will probably go blind. That means he would go blind in both eyes, even though using an ability in one. In both eyes, we have two or th more abil abilities. Our master, Uchiha Naruto, we don't know what type of ability he used on the Naruto Beast, or know what any ability he holds in his arsenal with unlocking the Mangekyo. But if he doesn't have the eternal Mangekyo, sorry, guy. We will be out of luck. His eyes will diminish, and we need to get him to a hospital while using his father's Sharingan. Do that quickly. We need him at bay, and he's the head of the Uchiha clan, and we not cannot place his successor Itachi as the head. He's too young. Yes, Hokage-sama. The Uchiha has vanished and going towards the hospital while bringing a blood a bottle with it back with minato minato you're gonna seal that demon inside of our son our, our two child children i promise they will be all safe mema mema was only six you will be okay, Mimma. I promise. I love you too. I love both of you, Mimma and Mito. I love both of you with my heart. But this is what a Hokage must do. Mimma, this will hurt deeply, I promise. But you will hold the Naitos at bay. 
as well as your little sister. Please teach her everything you know. Teach her my moves. Anyone, anything. You're the successor of the head of the Namikaze and Uzumaki clan. Let my friend know that we are passed away. Minato sealed the Naito's inside of Mema and Mito. Mema passed it out for the pain. Mema passed out how much pain he had to take. While Mito was still sleeping peacefully and calmly. Both the Naito's were half of the both of the half of the Naito beasts were calm and collective. They wasn't roaring in their cages. They was a slump asleep and smiled. Because of what Genjutsu Naruto used on him, showing what peace is like, how can it be controlled? Naruto's left Sharingan give them that way, the Genjutsu, that shows them what they really want, and that's peace. The tail beasts wanted peace. That is strange. But back with Naruto, who was still unconscious, and who was getting proper medical attention while removing his shaman gun and placing it with a new version, his father's, unlocking the eternal Mangekyo, but Naruto was still unconscious until a week later, he woke up. Two Uchiha Anbus were standing by the door guarded, waiting for the Uchiha to wake up. They was guarding for a long time, one slept by one stand up waiting. Until a muffle was heard. Someone growled inside of it. They opened the door and seen their, the head of the Uchiha clan, Naruto, awaking. What happened, said Naruto. He was blinded because he had bandages wrapped around his eyes. Can you see, said the Uchiha. No, I have bandages wrapped around me. Take it off. They did what they was told, and Naruto can see perfectly well. His vision was more stronger now. What happened? We will tell you everything, but we have to go to the Hokage's office. They grabbed Naruto and vanished. An hour later, the Hokage's office, a knock was heard. Enter. The two Ambu Uchiha's entered, as well as Naruto crunching was on two crunches, crutches. Where's Minato? said Naruto, looking at the fourth Hokage, at the third. The third sighed and sealed up the room while the two Uchiha's had to leave. Let the two strong ones talk. Naruto sat down in a seat in front of the third. Where's Minato and Kushina? said Naruto. He knowing the worst. Naruto sighed. Minato Kushina has passed away within the Naito's attack. What happened? They sealed the Kayubi no Ketsu inside of their two children, Mima no Mikaze and Mito no Mikaze. Why? To protect the leaf and to give them, get their children more stronger. Since they knew their children will be strong. The successor of the Namikaze clan will be Mima Namikaze, but he's too young to sec take the head of the Namikaze clan, who will be watching over them. Mito, Namika Mito Uchiha is watching over the kids now, while you are still unconscious in sleep. How many casualties? Over 1,200 casualties was hurt was damaged. Over 500 was injured, badly and bruised. Over 20 ninjas, or 150 ninjas was injured. Over a thousand, or over 400 villagers was killed. And some more ninjas as well. So a thousand casualties that was, who was now killed and over those who are still alive and injured. Naruto nodded. What is the where is the Joni commander? He's working on everything to get the villagers more fixed. The village more fixed. 
and more stronger. Naruto bowed and walked away. Ambus, Naruto spotted. The two Ambu Uchiha's nodded and they vanished with Naruto. I can see the pain in his eyes, said a man beside Naruto. Beside the third. Me too. Said the third Hokage. That pain is not going away, is it? Sensei. It's not Jiraiya. Someone needs to take care of him. He lost too many people. But gained another. But he still lost too many. Hokage-sama, or Sensei, a meeting was heard for you to attend. I know. Tell the elders I will be coming there shortly, and Naruto will not be attending this meeting. Hi. An hour later in the meeting room, only one or two missing heads from the seat of the ninja council was there, or missing. That's Uchiha Naruto, the head of the Uchiha clan, and Kushina Uzumaki, the head of the Uzumaki and Namikaze clan. Everyone, I would like to let you guys know something before this meeting begins. We have two Jinjurikis. Minato sealed the Jinjuriki, the Knights of Kayubi no Ketsun, inside of their both children. His both children. Mina, Mito, Namikaze and Mema Namikaze. Hokage sama. We should use them both as a weapon to make the villagers more the village more stronger, said Donzo Shimura. No Donzo said the Hokage. Now, what is this meeting for? About the Uchiha, said the elders. They need to move out of the village. Because they're the ones who control the Naitos. They're the only people that can control the tail beast. Why is that? Said, Nar said the third. Naruto Uchiha is the son of Gar Uchiha and the grandson of Madara. He can control the tail beast. We don't know if he did this or attacked the village. How would he attack the village if he's loyal to our village? He's more loyal to our village than you guys. He's more stronger than you. He's more proactive than you. And he lost a lot of comrades, a lot of Uchihas, a lot of people he loved like Minato and Kushina. And you think Moving him out of the village of Konoha would do him more better. Hokage-sama, we have to. They're more dangerous now because they have the two Jinjurikis. They're not Jinjurikis. They're ninjas. They're human. Now, I have a question. The Hokage pulled out a scroll of sealing, the scroll, and a kunai. What is this? He talked to the elders. Is a kunai and a scroll. Then the Hokage sealed this kunai within a scroll. Now what is it now? It's a scroll. That, that the scroll was sealed inside of a kunai. That doesn't make those two shinobis, Minato's son and daughter, a dangerous hazard. They're just Jinjurikis. That means they're controlling their jailer. And that means they're just, they're the kunai. The kunai is the Jinjuriki or the Nine Tails. And the seal is them. They're keeping the Jinjuriki or the Nine Tail Beast at bay. So we're not going to use them or Minato's children as a weapon, Donzo. Anything else? Time skip. Well, not time skip. Going towards Naruto. Naruto was now sitting at the table looking at his son and his other son. And then seeing the two children that were sleeping on the couch. Minato's blonde hair 
but one has blonde spiky hair, which is Minmon and Mikaze, and one has red hair, but looks just and similar like Minato. There was Mito and Mikaze. He smiled, but their motion changed to a blank one. He looked. He looked at his two sons, and talked. You two. How is your training going? Said Minato. Said Naruto. It's going good, father. Said Itachi. Great, Sasuke. And yours? I need. To, I need help, father. I can't control the fireball. I will help you, no matter what, my dear son. I will not abandon you, no matter what. My father, his father abandoned him, and I will not do the same. I will love you deeply. Husband, you can't. You need to relax and calm down. No, Mikoto. I'm sorry, but this has to be done. I have to train my two sons. They need to be learned the lesson of the Uchihas. They cannot bear the same hatred I do. I bear this hatred. I strongly want to kill that man. But now... I will get stronger, and when I do, I will find that man who got the same chakra not to punch the table, waking the two Namikazes up, and he was angry. I will find that man who killed Minato and Kushina, and I will destroy him if I have to destroy their village. I will do as I do. My hatred bears deep. And I will not let that go. I will not let this man destroy things I loved. Like you. I will not let him come from my family next. He destroyed Konoha. He will not destroy my family. When I find this man who took over my place of Mother Uchiha. I will end his life. Not to showering unactivated. Actually, on accident. And his Mungeko glared at all of them. And I'll show this man that Uchiha Naruto is not afraid of a man with a mask that's covering up his eyes. He's nothing more than a blank Uchiha. That a Uchiha who's copying a copycat. Naruto roared. And I will not let this happen to my family. Those children over there are now my family. And if he comes after them, I will destroy this village with a burn of my hatred. Not a roared. Go, Itachi, Sasuke, go to the river now. So, roaring at Nar roaring at Itachi, and they bowed and left. You two, said Naruto calmly. Come here. Naruto was calming down. They was afraid. They didn't want to get hit. But not to pat on them on the head. Mima Namikaze was carrying their, his little baby sister. I love you too. I'm sorry that you have to see my hatred. I need to get that in control. I have to talk to the Hokage after Mikoto-san. Not to look at Mikoto. She had a little bit of tears in her eyes for getting yelled at. I'm sorry. Wife, I'm very, very sorry. But what he did to, to Minato, to Kushina, he has to pay. If you want me to, I will do it in a different way. I will not go for revenge like my father used to. I have two enemies now. Ryu, the lightning user from Kiri, and the masked man Uchiha. I'm fine. It's okay. Go train our sons. Please be careful. Naruto walked out of the door and looked at both Namikazes and smiled. Please get stronger. Be just like your father, said Naruto muttering and ve and walking out. Everyone in the village of the Uchiha, everyone in the Uchiha compound bowed. No more bowing, Naruto spoke. We're all Uchiha's. Yes, I'm the head of the Uchiha's, but we all need to get stronger. So ninjas and police force, train your heart out now, yelling out. 
all the police force members that was on top of the roof of the Uchiha compounds. They nodded and vanished. In the police district, they kept training, no matter what the cost. Not to walk to the Nile River and looked at their two, his two sons. And he coughed. A, Listen, you two. I'm very sorry for the anger I've caused you. The stress that shows on your face. The frightening thing I told you. But this is the ninja world. Life and death will happen. You will gain a life, but it will be shortly taken away from you. That is why I want to train you deeply. Itachi, you're a genius, a prodigy, just like Minato. But more strangely and motionless. I love you for this. You're just like me when I was young. I was an emotionless tool. But my father changed me. He told me not to be emotionless. Show emotion. But at the same time, when I do, I lose that emotion. I lose that because I lost someone deeply. That's why I want to train you two. I will not disrespect you two. You're strong in your own ways. I want to hear what your likes, dislikes, and dreams. You will all succeed. I will not train you of your training. If you do not want to be a ninja, that's fine. You can be one of my assistants. I don't care. I just want you to be safe. I want to care for you like my father did, like my mother did. Not to smile. Now, I will teach you the hand signs. Fire style. Fire release. Fire style. Fireball jutsu, said Naruto. A large fireball came out of his mouth, and it burned the lake, incinerating, or not really incinerant, but bubbling of it, like a lava. Now, Itachi. Fire style. Katoon. Fireball jutsu, said Itachi. And a large fireball that is twice as size, or almost at the same size as Naruto's. You, Sasuke, go. Fire style. Fireball jitsu. It was a small, but a meteor fireball. Medium. Great. You're stronger, Sasuke. And I love you. I will get your training started, okay? I promise. Once I get all my energy back and get more healthy, I will teach you. Both of you. You two are my sons, and I will care for you no matter what. An Anbu appeared behind Naruto. Naruto-san, Hokage has called. Tell them I will be there. No, he wants you to come to this location, blindfolded. What do you want? Root, said Naruto. Danzu Shimura wants to speak with you. And what for? I do not know, but he wants to speak with you. Tell him I will be there, and tell him this. Do it anything that disrupts my clan, or attack me, this whole village would burn. Naruto Sharingan activated, even though his chakra control is almost lifeless, and his chakra was not even there yet. Um, his chakra was almost full, but it was slowly coming. Hi. The Ambu vanished. Alright, I have to go now, you two. Itachi, train your little brother. Don't be stingy, son, said Naruto. Why Naruto poofed and smoke. It was just a clone, said Sasuke. He was a little bit upset that his father did that. Itachi smiled. Come on, Sasuke-kun. I will teach you a lot of techniques, a lot of moves, taijutsu, whatever you want to learn. Naruto was now walking towards where Donzo is. In the root description, in the root down below, he walked. Donzo, he spoke. Naruto walked with a cane, both crippled, or he's not really crippled, but his energy or chakra is running. 
Now I have to walk towards the throne where Donzo sits. Bow. I'm not bowing to you, Shimura. What do you want, Zanarto? Don't ever speak. Shed it, said Naruto, glaring at one of the Ambus. Your root. I want your eye, said Donzo. Naruto chuckled. Did you never hear my threats? I will burn this village to the ground if you ever touch me. Now first, Shamira Donzo, would you like to tell me where you get the Sharingans from? Said Naruto. Donzo was confused. What are you talking about? Your arms, your eye. Why do you have the bandage? Show me. Why do you have my Uchiha blood? Why do you have the Sharingan Dojutsu? It's funny, you know, said Naruto chuckling. I'm still powerful than all your Ambus combined. Even though they're powerful enough to even defeat me, they will try dying. I'm still shocked that you never told the Hokage what you've been doing down here and making deals with Orochimaru. It's sickening. Oh, you think I never knew? You're, you're hilarious. Out of a lot of people, a lot of contact with Ambushinobis. I'm not slow, Donzo. I know everything you know. I know you want the hat to be Hokage. You want to change this village as a weapon. You want to change those two shinobis, the Jinjurikis, as a weapon. Which? Dr. Yant, I would never allow. Those two are Minato's daughter and son, and he kept them with me. So, you would die trying grabbing them. And, second of all, I know something else you don't know. The dojutsus you keep. My eyes, you want it. Because it's powerful, yes. But it controls, no. Because I'm the grandson of Madara? Why do you want my Sharingan? Please tell me. And if you do give me a good answer, I'll let you have one of my eyes. Peaky promise, said Naruto chuckling. I want them. So I can rule this village. So I can show the third Hokage that I'm here. That I can be seen as the new Hokage. The new guy named Hokage. Said the third. Said. Donzo. Oh. God damn. <laughs> You're funny. Why you... Hope you have a wonderful day, Donzo. You can't leave. And why is that? Because you know the ropes around the village and know where my root is. I will not tell anyone. And I will not make that promise. But I can suggest you let the Hokage know about your root agents. Or I will. You have two days, Donzo. If I never get word to the Hokage, trust you with these Ambu Shinobis. I will come back and destroy it. Naruto's eyes flare to life, showing the Mangekyo. And I dare you to swing that sword, Ambu. Your head will come clean off. I promise you that. Well, Danza. I will let you know this. You're gonna die very soon for taking the eyes of the Uchihas had died that day, protecting this damn village. One after one, I will kill you and these Ambu. Do it. On top of a roof, we see a white-haired man with the Ambu Shinobi mask with a dog on it, who is known as Dog. <clears throat> The Ambu Shinobi sat there, with his one eye shone and the other eye was black, while the other eye was red with three Tomo Sharingan in it. The three Tomos. He had a Sharingan Dojutsu. This man was known as Kakashi Hatake. 
the son of the White Fane, the team, a Joni that was at the age of nine, and a Truni that was at the age of six, and who was on the team of Team Seven, and who was trained by Minato. He was now an Ombu captain looking over. Time skip. A few weeks later, Itachi was now put in the Ombu score with Shishui. And the captain of the squad was Kakashi. They went on dangerous missions. Naruto knew this and was proud of his son. But proud in or in was displeased that his son joined the Ombu. But he didn't get no word out of Danzo. And that was shocking. Deep in Danzo's base of operation, he was sitting there on his throne, thinking. Hmm. He never knew I had those. The wood style, he muttered. Naruto walked to the Hokage's office. He had enough of Danzo's bullcrap. So he walked there. But Naruto kept walking. At the Okage's office, multiple Jonis was there, was talking to the third Okage, and Tanarto flashed in, using the fourth Okage's technique, but in his own way, without no seal on it, without no kunai. He was just copied. He flashed in there, using Minato's technique. Hello, Hokage-sama. As a Jonin sensei, or Jonin at all, I would like to speak with you from head of the Jacolet. Naruto bowed. All right, Shinobi, you may leave and come back in two hours, said the third. Hi, Hokage. All the Jonis left, and the Hokage pulled out a seal. Silent seal. And what is it? Naruto turned on his Sharingan, activating it, and looked around. Making sure no one else was here. And no one was there. It was empty. Donzo Shimura. He will be dead in two days. I will kill him on the second day. In the whole root ambus he hold. What for? Said the third. He took our eyes from us. Hmm? What do you mean? My dojitsus, the Sharingan, he stole them off of the dead corpse of my Uchiha brethren, who was died by the nine-tailed beast who attacked. He stole their eyes from us. They're supposed to be mine. They're supposed, their body's supposed to be mine. I should have known. I should have took those eyes out of them and sealed them away somewhere far to keep them safe. But no, he took it. Naruto, you can't do that. No, I can. And I will, Hokage. Give me permission. And I can show you what Danzo truly said. Naruto put the third Hokage on the Regenjutsu, showing everything what Danzo says. Naruto used his left eye. To record everything. While his Sharingan is activated. Or even using his Tritoma. Records. While his left eye controls and genjutsus. He's shown them the recording. He's shown them what Danzo said. He's shown them that he had to Uchiha Sharingans. As you wish, Naruto. But a meeting will be heard about this. That Danzo Shamira is a traitor of the leaf. And working with my younger and one of my Genin's lady or one of the legendary Sanin's, the snake Sanin. Naruto chuckled and smiled. I wonder what will happen to him when I kill him, that bastard. But who knows? At this time, this will be the end or part one of what if Naruto was the head of the Uchiha clan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm a beginner type thing, so I will be working on my editing skills. So if I don't post any videos, that's what I will be doing and working on IRL things as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe.
at the time please comment down below as well enjoying my videos and etc so you guys i love you guys very very much so enjoy like share and subscribe comment down below if you're new and enjoy the video hope you enjoy um hit that little bell icon as well please let me know if you enjoyed this video just comment down below um that's it hope you enjoy part two will come out very soon peace love you guys bye